Hey everyone, so it is a beautiful Saturday morning and we're starting on the next field on the fencing. So we're uh, just going to start putting in this corner. First corner, there's a lot of strainers, funny shaped field again. Just going to work on the strainers today and then we're filling the uh, post. Got to put my shades on because last time I did it, looking up and down when you're watching the post knocker go up and down, every time you get the low winter sun in your eyes, oh, my eyes were painful so looking cool in the old shades today. Right, it is the next day, yesterday we got all the uh, corner posts in, strainers. Today I'm just uh, putting all the braces in. Next we'll be doing all the small posts. You notice on the last field I put these in straight, but that was a mistake. Um, it's much better if you lean them back a bit in the direction they're going to get pulled. So this is leaning back this way because it's going to get pulled that way, and also back this way a little bit it's going to get pulled that way so when it's when it's pulled because it's always going to move a little bit everything in the universe moves a little bit no matter how strong it is it will move so uh, angling it back means that after it's moved a bit it pulls straight so uh, yeah that's what I've done with this field or tried to do at least So yeah, there we go, that's uh, one corner done. So you'll see a lot of fencing, uh, and I've done, made the mistake myself before. Put the, the brace right up here, and you think the higher it up it is, the more supportive off is the post. But what happens if you put it right up there, you change the pivot point, and it lifts the post out of the ground. So you don't really want them any higher than halfway up the post. And that way, they'll act as a brace, they'll be just as strong, really. Uh, but they're not trying to leave and pull the post out of the ground as much. So yeah, that's uh, what I've learned anyway. Hey everyone, we're back on the old fencing again. We're doing the small field here. Got on the tractor, the post off here actually again. And, uh, we're currently crashing it, wrecking the string line. <laughs> oh dear, 
it's an awkward place to be fair. You can pile of, some, some idiot put a pile of stone in the way. Anyway, let's get these in. So I was just driving that gate post in. This is the problem. You, know, you get halfway and there's a big rock there. See, I've just been driving that into a rock. I managed to pull it out. But down in there is just a solid rock, that's it. This is the sound of soil. This is a rock in the bottom. <laughs> it's just annoying, you know, you get you get all lined up, spend ages doing it all, pound the thing in, just a big rock there. <laughs> How annoying is that? Right, well we dug the, uh, dug the rock out, see if we can get it cleaned out. Yeah. Right, so Oh, we got it in anyway. Good and strong. It's just a uh, right pain. Because <laughs> once you decided where you're putting your gates, yeah, they got to go there. I and mean, we moved either side of the hole a little way, but it's just a massive rock there. So, anyway, in now. And we've got a gate in. This post going in fine, no rocks there. There's a bit of a gap under it, but you get that when you're on a hill. Not a lot you can do about it. So um, I'm just going to backfill that with soil to make the gap smaller. I've got a pile of topsoil from the greenhouse. I'll uh, just fill that up. 
make the gap smaller, a couple of bucket loads be done. Ah, good morning everyone. It is a very, very frosty morning out. Very cold. I got hat dot made me. This is from dot spun wool. It's like doubled over about three times, so it's just so thick and warm. We call it the hat of warmth. <laughs> but yeah, so it's uh, very, very cold this morning. I'm going to start running the wire, which isn't the best job to do in the cold, but it's the weekend. It's the day I got for it, and uh, just get it done. So yeah, video is not going to be that entertaining. It's just fencing, uh, like I was before, really. But a lot of people like to see what's going on around here and keep updated with all the progress. So that's more what it is, a progress report of what I'm doing, more than entertaining. Because there's only so many times you can watch a post being knocked in, really. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start running this wire around now. First I've got to terminate around that post, which isn't going to be fun in the cold. Alright, let's get to work. Over there, like that. In a loop there. It's got to come through there. I want to do what they call a, a lazy loop. Put a handle on it. And then go around once. Twice. Three times. When you watch videos of people doing this, they just sort of twang that off. But I haven't seen someone should be able to do that just yet. And that's the termination knot. Yeah, that's how I tie them off. So I've got to do that on all of them. The bottom one's always really difficult though. Alright, so there's the uh, knots tied off. Staples aren't doing anything, they're just there to hold it for me while I was working. So now we uh, run the wire out. Alright, just uh, tension in the first run up. It's about a 100 metre run, just over. Alright, now I'll go around and work it around the edges and the corners. Alright, I've got this all held in place where I want it. This is the slack bit now because I'm pulling it from in front. So we've got to take all this, try and get as much of this out. It's not nice and tight, and then this slack will end up back in the system. But I've over tightened it to compensate for that. So you go. Uh, so it's over. And then under. Get it tight. Still straight. And we want to do a lazy loop. Then we give ourselves a crank handle and then it's run once, run twice, run three times. Alright, release the tension out of it. Tight. Still got one I need to tie off. Let's just staple that one. Let's get all this out of the way. Yeah, we're good. Hey everyone, so yesterday we got the uh, the wire up and all uh, stapled on. It's looking really nice. Really pleased with it. Good job of it. So today I got one gate to put in and the barbed wire to run. As you can see, we've had a bit of snow, which is nice, and it's a nice clear day. So. Pleased to be out working, isn't it? Really nice. Right, let's uh, get a gate in. All right, gate's in. Barbed wire's run. Just got to get around stapling it. So I've almost got this fence field done. We're probably going to have some ducks in this field as well. So I've left the posts a bit high. I'm going to run a electric wire around the top. So uh, it's a barbed wire and then electric wire. And I might even extend them a bit higher yet. But yeah. That's the plan. Yeah, we're doing alright. If you're wondering why we're going to have ducks in this field, it's because we're going to have a little route over to the uh, to the pond over there. Can you see it? 
that's the pond there see that it's iced over at the moment but yeah that's the idea is uh, the ducks will be in the field safe but they can also be let out go foraging all through that area there and go over to the pond yeah barbed wires all stapled all the way around so we're just uh, doing the infill bits for the gates I think at some point I'm gonna cut that wire out and build a little door there and that can be the ducks access to get over to the pond over there So that is our second field done. Um, so it's Sunday today, literally just finished it and uh, did it in the snow and it's been a very nice, uh, nice snowy, lovely sunny day. Yeah, two fields down, two to go. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.